If you're currently a beginner that's looking to start your Amazon FBM business, this video is definitely going to give you some clarity because I'm going to go through the five most important things that you need to know to position yourself so that you're able to make the most money possible with your Amazon store. And if you're new to this channel and you've never seen my face before, welcome, my name is Sam. So far on this channel, I've made over 470 different videos to help people when it comes to making money online. But most importantly, I've been building e-commerce businesses now for the past 10 years. So I definitely know a thing or two that's going to help you out. So make sure if you enjoy this type of content, press the like button i'll really appreciate that don't forget to subscribe hit the bell notification let's get right into the video all right so first things first what exactly is amazon fbm for anyone that's new to it and has never heard of this term before so there's two ways of selling on amazon you can either do amazon fbm which is fulfilled by a merchant or you can do amazon fba which is fulfilled by amazon and when it comes to using the fbm method of selling on amazon this is simply where you're going to list products and whenever you make a sale it's going to be your responsibility to pick pack and ship out the orders to your customers However, when it comes to using the FBA method, this is simply where you're going to send your inventory to an Amazon warehouse. So whenever you make a sale, it's going to be Amazon's responsibility to pick, pack and ship out your orders whenever you make a sale. Now, there's so many different pros and cons when it comes to these two methods. I'm not going to go too much into detail in today's video because I just want to focus on the FBM method for people that want to ship out the orders themselves. Because there's a few reasons as to why you may want to do it this way. For example, you're going to be able to take a lot more control over your stock and your inventory. You're going to be be able to sell on multiple different platforms and know that you've got a certain amount of stock in your office space and you're also going to be able to cut down on any FBA fees that you're going to have to pay when it comes to storing your products in an Amazon warehouse. So the FBM method is definitely a great option for anyone that's just getting started that wants to kind of understand the world of Amazon that wants to ship out the orders however often they get them and also know that they've got a certain amount of stock in their house that they can also sell on other platforms too. All right so when it comes time for you to create your Amazon FBM account. It works the exact same way as if you wanted to create a FBA account because you need to head over to this website over here, which can be found at sellercentral.amazon.com or .co.uk if you're based in the UK. Now, once you're on this stage, you're going to be able to click on this option over here where it says sign up. Then it's going to ask you for your email and password and all of that information. And then this is the next page that you're going to see. Now, once you're on this page, it's going to let you know straight away that you're going to need a valid government ID or passport, recent bank account, chargeable credit card, and a mobile phone number. So if you've got all of that to hand, then you're going to be able to now continue with the process of applying for an Amazon account. So you need to click on begin and then it's going to ask you for your business location and your business type. So if you're just a normal person that's looking to get started, you're going to select I'm an individual or if you already have a registered business, then you can select whichever one applies to you here. It's then going to ask you for your first name, middle name, last name. It's very important that I let you know that you need to make sure that you're putting the correct details that's on all of your documents because if you make one little mistake, Mistake, it's going to completely delay your entire application. So once you're done with that whole process of applying for your account, you've now been approved, been accepted, everything is good to go. You've logged into your Seller Central dashboard. The first thing, of course, that you need to start thinking about is how to find the winning product and how to find a supplier, which I'm going to show you how to do in a moment. But one of the first things that I did with my FBM account is that I applied for the Seller Fulfilled Prime program. Now, this is for people that are looking to send orders from their house and do FBM, but also want the Prime badge on their listings. Because one of the most important things that you need to be aware of is that Amazon does prioritize sellers that either send their products to an Amazon warehouse or sellers that are guaranteeing Amazon that they're gonna be able to get it to the customer within one to two days if you're gonna use one of Amazon's approved couriers. So for you to be competitive as an FBM seller against all of the FBA sellers, you need to make sure that you start thinking about enrolling for this program right here. And the way that it works is that you're simply going to sign up for it. You may or may not get approved. It all depends. I'm not going to say that it's an easy process. I was approved for it fairly easily, but once you apply for it, Amazon is going to put you through these five steps. And step one is that they're going to make sure that you're qualified for it. And they're also going to put you through a trial period as well. And during that trial period, you need to make sure that you're shipping out your orders on time every single time with the right courier. Otherwise, you're going to lose your privileges. Step number two is that they're going to confirm that you're actually storing the products in your own warehouse. So you're not allowed to send it to a third party fulfillment company. You need to make sure that you prove to Amazon that you're storing it in your house or you're storing it in your office space. And step three, as I already told you, is that you're going to need to buy your shipping labels from one of the approved shipping companies. So in the UK, that's going to be Royal Mail. But not only that, you also need to make sure that you're using one of the approved shipping services. Then you need 
need to make sure that you're pack picking and shipping all of your orders on the same day as soon as the order comes in you need to ship it out so if you know you're working a nine to five job or you're not going to be able to commit to building this amazon business then applying for this may not be the best option but if you know that you do have the time to make sure that you're shipping out all of your orders on the same day then this is going to put you in a great position to get the prime badge on your listings which is going to lead to more sales and then step five is that you're going to take all of your orders to the post office every day and once you're happy with all of that that's where you're now going to enroll for this service then you now need to sit back and wait and see if you're going to be accepted so again you don't need to apply for this this is just something that i've had to do for me to make sure that i'm getting as many sales as possible from my amazon business all right so one of the final things that i want to show you guys in today's video when it comes to starting your amazon fbm business is how to find the most ideal product to sell now I'm gonna show you a quick example of what I personally do when it comes to finding a winning product that I know that I'm gonna have a higher chance of being able to make sales. Not only that, I'm also gonna show you how to find a supplier as well. So first thing that I do is head over to Amazon and by this point, I would have already signed up to Jungle Scout, which is a product research tool because they've got a really good Google Chrome extension as you can see right here, where it's gonna be able to show you how many monthly sales each individual Amazon listing is getting. So I've already typed in motion sensor light and I'm just gonna scroll down and show you what I'm talking about. So there's this listing right here. This seller was able to make almost £9,000 in the last month. This seller over here was able to make £20,000 in the last month with this product. But it's very important to remember that if you are going to list a brand new item on Amazon, you need to make sure that you're looking at sellers that don't have that many reviews and see how much money they're making every single month with the items that they've got listed. Okay, so there's this item right here and they've only got 10 reviews, which is not that much at all. And scrolling down over here, we can see that the monthly revenue has been almost five thousand pounds which is really really decent now of course when you go away and you look for your own product to sell you're going to make sure that there's multiple different listings with a little bit of reviews just like this and you're also going to make sure that whatever monthly revenue it is it meets up to your standard of what you expect from your own Amazon business. But one other thing that I do when it comes to doing product research is that I go over here to the Jungle Scout extension tool and then I look at this opportunity score and I like to make sure that it's minimum five. Ideally, if it's six, seven, eight, the closer you get to 10, then that means that you've definitely found a winning Amazon product. But five out of five is not bad because as you can see, it says that there's medium demand with medium competition. So you're gonna be able to make a decent amount of sales with this but by the way i'm only showing you this as an example you're going to go away and make sure that whatever the opportunity score is it's at least seven eight nine or ten so those are the main things that i look out for when it comes to doing product research and of course when it comes to finding a supplier i just go over to alibaba.com then i go through try to see if i'm able to find the exact same item that i'm looking for that's selling well on amazon also try and find a supplier that's verified and has also been there for minimum five years then i go through the process of contacting them getting the best price and making sure that i'm asking all the necessary questions that i need for me to know that i'm going with the best supplier but it's very important that when you are contacting suppliers for whatever product that you're going to sell you need to try and contact as many suppliers as possible what i personally do is go through the first page contact all of the suppliers then i go down here and contact as many suppliers on page two three four five six etc etc by doing this at the same time i'm going to be able to get all of the quotes all of the information i need from all of the suppliers from there i'm going to be able to make the best decision possible now of course there's so much more that goes into starting an amazon fbm business i just want to give you guys the basics just to kind of get you pointed in the right direction but if you want to sign up to my completely free email newsletter where twice a week i'm going to personally send you out an email to help you when it comes to selling on amazon starting an e-commerce business starting a dropshipping business i'm going to write you an email that's going to get you pointed further and further in the right direction when it comes to making money online so you can sign up for that by clicking the first link in the description down below and if you want to watch another youtube video that i made not too long ago where i broke down some other important things that you need to know when it comes to starting an Amazon business you can check that out by clicking the link right there that video has already helped out thousands and thousands of people so make sure you check it out straight after this one all right guys I'll see you on the next video make sure you stay safe out there peace